Cain. Why is this no surprise? Because our destinies run together, Raziel, like two rivers that have met and can never be distinct again. At your every fatal turn, you'll find me. And the free will you said was mine. What has become of that? You still have it. And that has everything to do with my presence here now. It was your machinations that set my destiny in motion. The coin you tossed has struck the earth. Now you must abide by its outcome. The coin is still turning, Raziel. To reach the resolution we both can live with, that will best serve our futures, Janos Ordren must not be raised. Because you do not wish it. Is my free will to be exercised only when it accords with your whim? There is much more at stake in this than you know. Yes, and it is Janos who has the answers I desire. You must trust me, Raziel. Our intentions for Nosgoth, for our futures, are not so diverse. I must trust you. Or... I've not come here to threaten you, Raziel. You say that while you hold in your hand the instrument of my doom? I saved you from the Reaver once. I have no intention of imprisoning you within the blade. At least not until the moment it serves your plans to do so. You are not the only one at risk. I may carry the instrument of your destruction, but I too have taken a chance in coming here. Or haven't you realized? You bear the only weapon that can kill me. Then you know what I am, and who you are. I believe I do. And still you think you can move me about like your pawn? Think again, Cain. Take heed, Raziel. Why? If we are who we are, then are we not destined to fight to the death to decide the fate of Nosgoth? Don't be a fool! I will not fight you! And that will be the prophesied hero's battle? I win because you will not fight me? The mighty Cain, scion of balance, would-be savior of Nosgoth, surrenders before the final battle even begins! Very well. If this... Will make you see reason. Ah, shit. Here we go. Playing as Cain, fighting Raziel. Kind of weird, uh. Raziel has never been an, an antagonist in this game, in the series, in any way. But, uh. Cain has. <laughs> Raziel's finally grown tired of his sort of being manipulated by everybody and well he supposedly has free will and it's possibly the first time he's exercising it but he's got the green glowing eyes of being controlled by the Hilden so perhaps there's he's not entirely within his own faculties and what he's doing right now Uh, as far as the fight goes, Raziel feels a little underpowered right now. But, whatever. And, uh, well, I find that Mortanius is, in fact, uh, was responsible for the resurrection of Cain. Now, you will listen to me. The heart of darkness must remain undiscovered. Great harm will come of its use. You don't know where it is, do you? No. You never looked for it. It doesn't matter, Raziel. Listen to me. You must understand that every creature is bound to one predestined path. We are all shackled. To the wheel of fate. Believe me, I know that even better than you do. All but one. Because of your remaking, you are the one unbound creature, the one among us all that truly has free will. You have a choice, Raziel. Which I'm sure I must make at your direction. Your pawn has reached the end of the board, Cain, and now my powers may even surpass yours. How ironic. If the creature that you made should prove your own undoing. Now, 
We finish this. Once and for all. Haha! <laughs> Ain't that some shit? We're playing as Raziel now. <laughs> First time I ever heard of something like that happening. <laughs> ah, jeez, just throwing you around like a freaking rag doll. But I mean, the battle isn't terribly different than the one we had just completed. Kane hasn't really revealed the reason why Yanos can't be or shouldn't be resurrected. Although he doesn't even understand where the Heart of Darkness is. It's inside of his own body, his own chest. The Heart of Darkness was used by Mortanius to resurrect Cain in order to um, sort of change history. Or well, not change history, but to fulfill the prophecies or whatever. Or whichever prophecy. Mortanius was one of the people who... Damn it, this guy's tough as a motherfucker. <laughs> Mortanius was one of the ones that rebelled against vampire rule at the behest of the Elder God. Or maybe he didn't understand that at the time and he was just sort of rebelling for the sake of humanity. But has had a kind of a change of heart, understands that the vampires were the ones that were supposed to be responsible for the circle, and is attempting to return it to that. Of course, uh, he's under he's under the influence of the Hilding. He's un he understands that. He's not much he seems like he's able to do about that. Playing as Raziel, it seems to be important here to um, not take Kane on head to head. Seems to be a little bit more powerful. Holy crap, that's right. Kane is more powerful, but then again, Raziel cannot die, so there's that. <laughs> that's uh, storyline wise, that, that's how they, uh, how they uh, justify this. Wasn't really necessary, but last time these two fought in the game Soul Reaver, it sort of worked the same way. Kane would take Raziel down several times in the fight, but Raziel could always resurrect. As long as Raziel can avoid having himself being controlled and manipulated by people, he is effectively invincible. Not even the Elder God can really do anything about it, as far as I can tell. Damn, he freaking recovers from staggering attacks quickly. Doing a much better job taking him on this time. Damn, hit that freaking telekinesis. Gotcha. You're almost dead. And you go to oblivion. Cain was gone. The madness of this place had somehow fueled my rage. And as it subsided, I felt no elation, no sense of victory. Only a calm certainty that we had once again walked blindly into our enemy's trap. I couldn't be sure whether Cain had truly intended to destroy me, and now it appeared 
I would never know. Raziel has destroyed Cain, stolen the Heart of Darkness from his chest, and cast him into whatever the hell that was. Is it over? Don't know. Has Raziel succeeded in doing whatever it was he was planning on doing? We don't know. Has he changed history? We don't know. <laughs>